welcome back. This is uh, the second part to my Get Ready With Me. And I'm going to be using the Moira, I don't know why I say it like that, Moira, <laughs> Moira um, palette. I don't know if you see it. Um, Sweet Paradise Destiny Eye and Face palette. I'll put that right there. Um, we got this at iMats. I think this is a indie brand as far as I know. I don't know much about it. Um, and I don't know if you can see. I'm going to put this in front of my face here. Um, this beautiful, beautiful layout of um, uh, eyeshadow. Very, very colorful. I think I'm going to do somewhat of a purple pinky eye look today with all the purples and the pinks and so forth. Um, I'll say the names as I use them just in case somebody ever goes and get this palette. This palette, I think, is like $22. We got it for $15 at IMATS, but it would think it was like $22. It's, I've used it a couple times. I actually really like this. It doesn't have a mirror, but I don't use mirrors and palettes anyway, so that, that's perfectly fine for me. And um, I'm going to just go step by step and show you what I do. So <clears throat> I think I'm going to do it all over. I'm going to do my fluffy brush, which is the um, JH30, little fluffy brush. And again, I'm going to try to do this kind of a quick eye look. So I'm going to go in with um, this, I believe it, this is matte, it's called Carefree. And I'm just going straight in, full pigment. Um, I suggest if you don't like a full pigment, full pigmented look, um, you know, start with a different crease color. But with my skin tone, this is totally fine for me. It, um, and then I'm just going to blend it up. So I start at the crease. And then I blend upwards. Now, I don't necessarily have hooded eyes. Um, maybe slightly. Maybe very slightly. But I don't think I do. But things do transfer on my eyelids. So um, I like to kind of build in the crease. Um, and then you know slowly work my way down. So up. And then a little down. Okay, so now I'm going to take that again, carefree on this side, I dust off, I kind of just tap off a little bit of that. Okay, and I start at the crease, and then I kind of blend my way up. I like this brush, I don't, I didn't use it very often, it's a little stiffer than I like, typically, but it works because it blends a large surface of the eye, and because again, I don't have hooded eyes per se, um, I can use this um, and not mess up my whole eye look. Like my mother's eyes are a little smaller, so like a brush like this I would never suggest for her because um, she wouldn't be able to be as precise. Well, I guess I'm not even that precise, but more than, you know. So anyways. Okay. So that already is looking good. I'm going to take my, as I'm doing this, I'm going to build my lower lash line. Now, I'm very big on um, a lower lash line. One, because um, when there's creasing, it kind of can cover up a little bit of the creasing of your under eyes. So I have slight creasing right now. So I'm going to take that same color, Carefree. So I'm going to put that on my brush, and I'm going to go under the lower lash line. And again, this is my, I feel like it wraps your eye around. And this is kind of the look that I really enjoy doing. Okay. So I'm going to wrap that around. I'm going to keep that brush out, though, because I will be using it again. Now I'm going to take, just doing things a little bit differently. I mean, you know, we're always going to have, we're going to change things up. Nothing's always the same. I'm going to take this JH04. This is the from the Jaclyn Hill, time or Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill collection, um, this uh, brush set. But you can get a lot of these brushes just from the Morphe line. You don't have to have the Jaclyn Hill set to get these same brushes. Um, they might not say J. H, they'll say just, well, depending, probably 
Oh, what does my other one say? Oh, this is like R something. They have different lines. I don't know. But a similar brush like this you can use. And now I'm going to take a little bit of purple. This is the Never Never Land color shade. And I'm going to put that in my crease. But I'm going a little lower this time. I'm going in lower into my actual crease here. But I'm not going to pull it up. I want to deepen this. And so I start from the corner of my eye all the way in, deepening it up. But I'm, because the way this is brush is pointed, I'm getting a nice concentrated color payoff, which hopefully you can see in the video. We'll see. Okay. I'm going to do the same eye. Again, getting a concentrated start from the corner. Go all the way in, but I'm not going higher. I'm staying in the crease. <clears throat> okay, so. I'm going to leave it there. Um... And now I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to use this Maybelline, I think, Fit Me uh, concealer. I'm just going to see how that works today. Um, the cutting the crease means I'm going to put concealer on my eyelid. And by doing that, it's going, and I'll let it dry for a minute, it's going to let the um, eyeshadow pop. So what I'll do here is I'm going to put this in. I'm going to take a brush, or not a brush, I'm going to take a flat shader brush. I'm just going to drag it across, trying to keep it as neat as possible across the eye. Usually I use something a little bit brighter. Trying to make this uh, concealer multi-purpose because I don't know if I'm going to use it much under the eyes anymore. So we'll see if this works. You know, that's something about makeup that you're just kind of always testing and trying new things and seeing what works, what doesn't, adding things to the routine, taking it out. Now again, you don't have to do this. You could just literally do the next application, like skip this step. This is what I do. Since I'm going to work and I like to have a certain look, this is what I'm going to do. But you don't, of course, you don't have to do that. Um, so now I'm going to take, actually, you know what? I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. So I'm going to take my Color Pop lip pencil in Dukes and I'm going to apply that so that that's ready. So for me, as you guys see, this is a colorful eye look. For me, not so much because these are the colors I like to wear, um, bright colors, typically. Um, so I will be doing colors that are more like neutral and not as maybe loud. Um, but today I just wanted to, I'm wearing a, my undershirt's purple. I kind of compete through my black shirt that I want to wear purple. So I'm going to take, I'm going to use this as a, oh, I should have showed you. This is the Dose of Colors in Bury Me 2. This is my second tube of this. I absolutely love this shade. It's my favorite. It's a matte liquid lipstick. And I think it goes well with the look that we got going here. If I look crazy, I'm sorry, because I'm looking, I have a mirror right here, 
and then I have a mirror right directly behind the camera. So sometimes I'm looking directly behind the camera at the mirror here, or I'm looking here. So sorry if that is annoying. Okay, so now I'm going to take, now I'm going to do something a little bit. I'm going to take, it's called Over the Moon. And I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll put it on this side. It's called Over the Moon. It's like a peachy pink. And I'm going to start layering it on. And I'll see I'm just pressing it on. This is a shimmer, satin, like a satin shimmer. It's not fully shimmery, but it's a satin shimmer. So I'm putting it on and I'm pressing it in. So I put it on and then I just drag it ac across. And I'm loving the look. I'm loving this look. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to take my other finger. do the same thing look at the full opacity of this this is a nice eye, eyeshadow palette I didn't have high hopes for it when we got it I don't know I just didn't but I really enjoy this eyeshadow. this this definitely competes with some of my higher end things um, just the opacity that it has is just amazing to me that it just full opacity so I really um, I like that so far I'm going to take my, <clears throat> excuse me, that brush. Actually, I forgot to lower my, let's do this lower lash line here. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take a little bit of that purple Never Never Land. I'm going to put it at the corners. I'm not going to go all the way in with that color because it's darker. But it deepens the look. Okay. And then I'm going to take a brush. This is the, uh, I'll use this one. Actually, yeah, the JH31. This has no product on it. I'm just going to make sure everything's blending together seamlessly. So I'm just going to go over that um, crease color. Just make sure it's blended. I go in little circular motions. Just because you want it to blend with the red color and so it looks seamless okay liking that okay and now I'm going to I like to highlight my brow, brow bone color I'm gonna take the shade let's see what this looks like first called lovable I'm going to put that here under my eye, eyebrow. It's a matte, like creamy color. Something called Lovable. Okay. I'm going to do an inner corner highlight. And I'm going to take I think with them, okay, they have these like highlight colors on the side here. And so I'm going to take Luna. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, I like that. And I'm taking this little, I think this is a Lux, oh, it's a Luxy brush, the multi or the mini flat angled. But I like this because it's good for the inner corner. The way it kind of shaped, see so like that. Um, it's good for the inner corner here. I'll take a little bit more of Luna. Okay. For my, um, I'm going to use this. Am I going to use this? Yeah. I'm going to use the Maybelline. Is it the Maybelline? Oh no, sorry, L'Oreal. The L'Oreal Still Kissing Me um, and True Teal. I like to sometimes do a colored eyeliner. I think that looks pretty. I take this, br this brush. This is just um, know, some regular brush I have, but it's very stiff. But I like to do it because I don't want to pull on my eye. 
And so I lay the brush here so I can pull the eye down a little bit and then put in the, you probably saw that in my other video where I did that. And you may wonder why I did that, but because that's because I want to pull it down and get to the eye. Now you notice here, look, I put that there. My eyes, I'm sorry, my eyes are so red. I put eye drops, I don't like, they're still so red. Um, and I put the um, eyeliner there. And it, it looks good against the purple that's there. Okay. You increase your chances of getting more eye creases when doing this, but I try to be gentle. Okay. And what I'll do is twist it up a little bit. It's okay. Now I'm going to use a Eyeliner right now. I'm going to use the Fenty Fly Liner. I, this I love this. Um, I usually use. I cannot find the wet. Is it the is the Wet and Wild? Oh no, it's not the Wet and Wild. Yeah, it's the N Y X Epic. Oh, you know what? I think I've been looking in the wrong one. Let me think. The Wet and Wild. Oh, it's the N Y X Epic Liner. Oh, I've been looking for the wrong thing. Okay, that makes sense. Anyways, okay, that's a long, that's a different story for another time. Okay, so anyway, so I have this particular one. I want the, um, usually I love the NYX Epic Eyeliner, but I'm going to use this Fly Liner from Fenty. Actually, I'm going to use my brush again still. And I'm going to make just a, hopefully just a mini wing. Though, if anyone knows when you do a wing, sometimes they have the mind of their own. even as I'm going to get at the moment. So sad because this is where you could totally mess up and ruin the look. Hopefully I don't. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. It just like it's thicker and thicker because you're trying to even it out. Okay, so wait, let me go here. I have different methods of how I do my eyeliner, but this is the way I like to do it, and then bring it up and across. Okay, like that. And now I'm going to take, now this is new to me. I don't know what I think about it. I just used it once so far. I used it last night. This is the Maybelline um, Total Temptation. And I'm going to put that on. This is, in, I think, the blackest black. It doesn't feel very... It looks like there's a lot of product on it, but it doesn't feel like there's a lot of product going on. But it is making my out. Uh, it's giving me some vol not volume. It's giving me some length. I'm gonna put some of my lower lash line. Always be careful. But this is where the mistakes can be shown. Okay, it feels dried out for some reason. I don't know why, but I see product on there. I don't know what I think about this. I don't think it's going to be in my favorites category. I'll say that. But you never know. I'll give it its fair shot and choice and use it as much as I can to see what I really think. It's not a new product, actually. It's, not, it's actually not very new at all. But I always want to try it. Yeah, I've had better. Okay. So I am basically done. I think anything else? Nope. Um, what I'm going to do now is spray my face one more time. Again with the Milani 
make it last setting spray. Smells so good. It smells like kind of a. That's a pretty scent. I don't know what the scent is, but it's pretty. Okay. Let's let this dry down. Feeling very dewy right now. I don't know if this comes across on the camera. But I am quite doing it. Mm. Oh, and that doesn't usually I can do that stuff that dries down quickly. I see that there's a mistake already. That's easy to fix. Okay, so this is the end result. Hope this looks nice. Okay. Okay, I am off and ready to go to work. Um, Hopefully this video turned out well. We'll see as I go back and look at the, the footage. Um, you just never know. I'm looking very, very dewy. I will say that. I will actually, this is something, this is a good technique. Just remember, if you I, when I feel a little bit dewy, I press everything down. So, again, I don't mind being a little dewy. I don't like to be shiny, but I have the tendency to go from dewy to oily in seconds. So. I usually like to look very mattified, but I kind of wanted to give like a, a glowy look today. So when I use that makeup foundation stick, the makeup revolution stick, when I use the makeup revolution stick, um, it can cause my face to look kind of dewy and fast and quick. Um, so I probably will have to powder down in between. But I think overall the look came out nicely and uh, I like it. I'm going to take a few pictures, maybe insert a few in here. Um, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, this was fun, and I, I will be back. This is Glamorous Spectrum. Bye.